how to sell nft art on open seas hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you about open seas and how you can use it to sell your nfts so having said that let's just jump into the video so as you can see this is the website over here this is how it looks like this is open seas it's one of the largest marketplaces for selling and minting or dealing with nfts and you can turn anything into an nft because it is basically called a non-fungible token right a non-replaceable thing a non-replaceable object so if it's on the you know blockchain anything can be turned into an nft it can be a video it can be your own picture it can be a meme it can be anything so today we're going to be turning it small arts into nfts so first things first what we need to do is we need to create an account and to create an account what i want you guys to do is come over here at the top right corner over here you will see the wallet icon so simply click on wallet and you will open up these four options so you have wallet connect metamask coinbase wallet for matic and if these aren't really the go-to for you you can click on show more options and you have all of the others as well now what are these these are basically cryptocurrency wallets we are going to be using to buy and sell nfts from because we're going to be using their services to buy cryptocurrencies and then we're going to use cryptocurrencies to buy nfts so first things first choose whichever one you want i'm going to choose metamask because it's one of the most popular ones and i've used it in the past and it's very easy to use simply click on metamask and it'll open up this website where you can just simply have to you know install metamask for chrome so once you do that just simply click on add to chrome add extension wait a couple of seconds for the extension to be installed onto your computer and as you can see over here the metamask the metamask extension has been installed now we can go ahead and create an account so as you can see it automatically opened up a tab where we can get click on get started to create an account now to create an account you have two options so you have i already have a secret recovery phase that means that you already have created an account on metamask and yes let's get set up you don't have a metamask account and you want to you know create one so i already have one but i'm going to show you how you can create one so the process is very simple just simply click on i agree and over here just simply enter in the password you want to choose and then they will show you a basically a small video on how to use it you can skip it and then you have your secret recovery phase now this is very very important it is very important that you keep this secret recovery phase a secret do not reveal it to anyone else you know you care and you have to make sure that you and make sure that you can remember it all right don't forget it because this is the only way that you will be able to sign in to, into your metamask wallet other than you know other than the password but th this is the main way so you simply click on it to reveal the secret keyword and then you click on next and then you can arrange the letters as shown in the preview so i'm gonna go ahead and do that over here as you can see these are the letters right here and i have to you know add them in a proper you know order which i don't know so i'm gonna go ahead and arrange them and i'll catch you guys in a little bit and once you've rearranged the letters as you can see all oh, congratulations your account has been created just simply click on all done and there you go your account has been created now you can go back to uh, the uh you know open seas website click on wallet and choose metamask already have it installed click on metamask and you are already signed into it so let me just so as you can see if we click on metamask the notification panel will pop up and it will ask you to sign a transaction to connect with you know open seas so click on next and as you can see once the account has been created all you have to do is come over here and click on create and it'll take you over to the creation section but before that you also have to create a new transaction so that it is you know written onto your metamask wallet now all you need to do is just simply upload the image of your nft so let's just go ahead and upload this one right here car and i'm gonna call it blurry car and then down below you have the external link over here what you can basically do is you can add a link to a website or a you know twitter page or a instagram page or whatever basically you know showcasing all of your previous work which is pretty good and then you have the description where you just simply add in the description of your nft nft if you want so i'm just gonna go ahead and write it's a car and then you have a you know collection if you created a collection you can go ahead and add you, you know nft to that collection and then you have you know properties basically like if you are uploading a large number of nfts and some of them have like specific you know qualities like a different background or a or a different shade or a different accessory like you know other creators do then you can go ahead and add those over here and then down below you have supply supply can vary sometimes but 
it also depends upon the blockchain as well so and speaking of blockchain you have two options in the blockchain network so you have ethereum and you have polygon now both of these have different pros and cons but ethereum has ethereum's pro is that you is that it has a bigger market cap and your nft will be sold much much faster and much much quicker for a higher price but you have to pay a two-time transactional fee which is like a gas fee you have to pay that twice and then you're golden then you only have to pay the 2.5 percent but if you choose ethereum you have to pay a gas fee twice but and once you do that you don't have to pay any fee except for the 2.5 percent transactional fee and if you choose polygon the pros are you don't have to pay the gas fee as you can see a fast gas free blockchain experience that works with ethereum so uh, you don't have to pay any gas fees but on the downside is that sometimes you know it takes a little bit longer to sell your nft onto the polygon network not a lot of people you know are interested in polygon networks i mean it's still pretty good i mean it's really famous but comparing to ethereum not a lot of people are into polygon these days those are some of the pros and cons of it and you can't create a collection you know on polygon network but you can like you know increase the supply of it so there you go so once everything you know checks out all you have to do is next is just simply click on create and it'll pop up this panel over here that says congratulations have created the account and right now the polygon network issue is creating delays bridging tokens between ether and polygon so that's something that we don't didn't need to know for now so there you go now you have created your nft now let's go ahead and sell it by clicking on the sell button over here and over here just simply enter in the amount of that you think should be you know right for this nft and that covers all of the fees and stuff like that and then you can change the duration i'm gonna go with like three days and once everything is good just simply click on complete listing and it'll open up this panel where you have to unlock the currency and it'll send a message to our metamask wallet where we just have to simply sign as you can see there is no requirement for you know gas fees so which is pretty good if we had chosen ethereum then we had we'd have to pay like a certain amount of gas fee otherwise we we wouldn't have you know been able to move past this uh option right here so and then just simply sign the transaction and there you go your nft has been listed and it is ready to be sold so having said that that is it for this video guys and if you liked this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and make sure to turn on your notification bell because if you do that not only will you be helping us out but you'll also be getting daily alerts of whenever we upload our videos we upload daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content so just make sure to hit the bell icon and uh, you'll be notified and you'll be able to consume your daily dose of tech videos and other gadgets and other tools that can help you run or scale your business so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye